This video contains graphic images of neglected animals. Information in this video is for educational purposes only. It is not a substitute for medical advice. Does your animal look like this? Or this? Or this? Or even this? Does your animal have persistent, stuck shed, crusty eyes or discharge? Do they shed frequently and often have difficulty doing so? They may have a condition called hypovitaminosis A. The good news is that hypo A is both treatable and preventable. Let's get started. Vitamin A is a necessary vitamin for reptiles and humans alike. It plays a vital role in the health of the eyes, skin, reproductive system, and immune system. Hypo A is the deficiency of vitamin A and is a common ailment found in reptiles. It is most often seen in insectivores and aquatic turtles and is usually caused by an improper diet. Symptoms present as shedding issues and mouth rot, and if the deficiency is not corrected, it will lead to malnutrition, permanent vision loss, and eventually loss of life. Hypo A typically affects the eyes first. Signs of this include fluid buildup, discharge, difficulty opening their eyes, and stuck shed in their eyes. Many of the leopard geckos we have received have suffered from hypo A, and unfortunately many were left untreated for a long period of time. As the deficiency gets more impactful, animals are unable to shed, which in leopard geckos causes a buildup of shed in the eyes. This in turn leads to malnutrition as they are unable to see and hunt their prey. When left untreated, hypo A is also noted to lead to stomatitis, also known as mouth rot which further prevents the animal from eating. Oral abscesses may also develop, which is an infection in the ear that causes a buildup of material behind the tympanic membrane, causing a swelling of the head. Hypo A is caused by a lack of a varied diet, inadequate use of vitamin supplements, and not gut loading feeder insects. Gut load all feeder insects before feeding them to your animals. Gut loading consists of feeding your feeder insects vegetables such as squash or sweet potato so that they may pass on the nutrients to your reptile. Use a multivitamin containing vitamin A. Now, here's where it gets a bit complicated, so please bear with me. All reptiles need vitamin A in their diet. Generally speaking, herbivores and omnivores get enough vitamin A from their diet through eating leafy greens, vegetables, and fruit that are high in carotenoids such as beta carotene, lutein, and canthanthin. That's a hard word to say. Canthanthin. There we go. However, research shows that most carnivores, and this is including insectivores, are not able to synthesize plant based vitamin A such as beta carotene. And that means that multivitamins containing beta carotene have little to no effect on carnivores. Research also shows that vitamin A in the form of retinol acetate or retinol palmitate are the ingredients that they will need in a multivitamin. On the ingredients list of your multivitamin, it may be shown as vitamin A acetate or vitamin A retinol acetate. In short, beta carotene is okay for plant eaters. Vitamin A acetate, vitamin A retinol acetate, retinol acetate, or retinol palmitate are for meat eaters. When in doubt, ask an exotic vet that specializes in reptiles.